With winter being almost non-existent back home, we headed to Winnipeg to enjoy some fun outdoor winter activities. Our first stop was Fort Wild Alive, where tobogganing is done a little different there. Oh, that's quite the bump there. That was something. <laughs> Next, we decided to go ice fishing, which we haven't actually been able to do this uh, season back home. Walking, I almost slipped because of the ice. Yeah. Yeah, I. I you gotta be careful. I know it's slippery here. Yeah. So. Whoa. But I'm glad I didn't bring my big boots because I don't think I needed my giant boots. But anyways, we got our fishing poles now. We're gonna catch some fish, right? Yeah! Go catch some fish. You want me to do it this side and you do that second bit? Welcome to Connor Outdoors. This is ice fishing in Winnipeg. Good job, kiddo. Okay. See if that works. Let's put this in here so I don't lose theirs. But I felt a little nibble. You might. You're in a good spot there, kiddo. So Still nothing. Still nothing. Oh, I wish. But now. Oh well, we'll try this a little longer. Because we still got like a 45 minute hike to do. I'm not sure if we're gonna do the whole hike, but we're gonna go see the buffalo, right? So it's a nice day. That's cool. So, Daddy, do they? Hey, because is this real polar bear? 
Yep, these are real big ones. I don't see anything that's like in here. Mm. left. These orange ribbons are tied to honor residential school survivors and recognize the harm caused to indigenous children and families by the residential school system. <laughs> You're stuck. You want to help? I wouldn't be able to get back up if I sat down there. You'd have to leave me here forever. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Go for it, kiddo. You're gonna hurt yourself. This is a branch that is on the ground. It's buried in snow, you know. Oh yeah, let's go find bison. Yeah, for the lookout probably. Because winter wasn't cold enough where I come from, we flew to Winnipeg to test out these hand warmers. So for that, I'm walking around here in Winnipeg, no gloves, heard a bison behind me, and my hands are staying nice and toasty. These are good.